I'm quite sure you can barely hear me, but as I get ready to put the rail on our skeleton, on our frame, we've got a big, big storm, snowstorm coming through. It is freezing cold, but I've got to get it done, and I'm hoping this little heater here is going to do the trick. Hey, if you're getting any kind of value, probably not now because you can't hear me, Hit the like and subscribe, ding the bell. I'd appreciate it, leave me a comment. I like that, helps our channel grow. Anyway, I'm trying to stay warm out here because I wanna start getting that rail together because once I get the rail on both sides, I can put the interior walls on both sides, set them off to the side, and then I can get going on the floor. We've got to get the floor on before we can even put the walls on, but I just don't have the room to blow it all apart all at once right now because this king is king size. So I'm going to get going on building the slats that I'm going to need for the rail, and then I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Well, I turned the heater off just for a few minutes because I want to show you what I'm doing. I've got this up on some... Uh, saw horses as you can see i've got uh i got it leveled going this way north or east and west and going north and south so i've got everything level and there's always going to be a little bit of play in it anyway that we can make adjustments but the closer we get to square to start the better we're going to be uh, so i cut a bunch of strips it's a four by eight sheet almost quarter inch and I'm going to use those to go around. I took some really cool footage, set up the camera and everything, and did a time lapse on it. But uh, I knocked the camera over and didn't notice. So you don't get to see it. So I've got these strips that I cut down on the table saw. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach them just to kind of get them started. Camera work's going to suck because I'm going to have to drag the camera around with me. But uh, you'll get the idea. And that's really what we're here for. So we've got to go on the edges right here. I need to move that out of the way. I'll tell you right now. There we go. All right. And we're still square. So we're good. Let's get that out of the way. So this is going to be the front. This is the very front. This is the very front right here. And this is where it starts. This is what's going to connect to the bottom of the trailer. This connects to the floor. So this is the bottom. The other end is the top. This is the front that's the back just to kind of give you some perspective so i'm going to use some uh, half inch uh, staples on this and i've kind of pre-cut some of these so i'm hopeful that now they're going to fit so i'm going to get this on here yeah, i'll probably start with this middle one give me give myself a little bit of something to work on come back down here and i want to make sure i'll show you here in a second I want to make sure that this is flush because this is not the skin side. This is going, oh, you can see my mouth moving. That's weird. Uh, because this is where the uh, interior paneling is going to go. So we want to make sure we're really square. It should be square on both sides anyway because I made these uh, inch and a quarter. And of course, these are inch and a quarter all the way around. So we're going to just kind of go around on these. And I'll probably get another one here. So we're going to kind of just bow it around as we go around. And you'll see we're going to make the curve right here. And this is kind of how it happens. You'll see, look at how this angle is. Remember, we, we cut that angle. So we're coming around, and that's how we're going to make that outside edge that we need for the camper. I'm gonna give that one a little extra one right there just because we've got to go around. Let me come up here, see if we can see that. Now here's where it's gonna terminate. So I'm only gonna put it halfway because I ran out of eight foot. These were eight foot strips. So I'm gonna put this one on here real good. Oop, maybe, there we go. It's not pleased with that, but it's just what it's gonna be for right now. So I've got another one and we're gonna start at that half and work our way around. 
So I've got another one that's pretty close to eight feet. And let's see if we can't kind of start here and then get one here. I think that's going to help us a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Get on there. Come back here. Good. Perfect. All right. And I'll just kind of hit these as I go. Move on down here. Yeah, I cut that one a little short or a little long. Uh, you probably can't even see it. Cut that one a little long. So I'm gonna have to uh, cut that one down a little bit and then we'll finish up. All right, we got that detail solved. So we're gonna come around this way and try not to hit the camera. Get this guy on here. And this is where, this is kind of a tricky cut. In all honesty, because it was two of them, one here and then one here, where they came together, and uh, it came out just fine. I was kind of worried about making this turn, but we seem to be okay so far. So let's uh, get these next two here. Now we're going to go, of course, this is the back. And now we're going to kind of go around the back. And this is going to, this is the biggest bend that we have to make, the most sharp bend that we have to make. So it's not going to be easy by any means. I've got to put an extra, extra staple in it. Now we're going to make this big curve right here and you can see that oh man that's tough oh it does not like that it does not like that oh boy i may have to do a little extra here and that may not even solve the problem we'll try but this is just uh, such a curve to make right here Oh, oh, I think we might have got it. Let's, uh... Oh, see, it hated that. Yep. So you know what we've got to do on this one? We're going to have to kerf it. So I'm going to go kerf that, kerf one, and uh, we'll see how that works. you got to get an idea now. It's taking shape. But in order to get this out to inch and a quarter, I've got to add layer upon layer of these. So I'll start my next layer and I'll glue all the way around, but I'll probably stop right here. Even though I've got eight feet, I'll stop here because I'll want to start again right here, come all the way around here, to where we have our first break. You don't want to put the same break in every time. So I'll go over the top of this all the way down to probably that far one down there. And that will strengthen this one. So I will never have a break in the same spot. So I'm probably going to have to do about five layers, maybe six. I don't know. We're going to find out. But it's going to be glued and clamped. And it's also going to be stapled. There's our glue just waiting its turn.
couple of hours of work, I needed an inch and a quarter. And that's real doggone close. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. Seven layers. But it's going to be very strong. As you may have seen, glue and nails, glue and nails, clamped. And we even got that stubborn spot back around here. See how that makes that nice curve? Man, that looks real, real nice. And that's where it was really, that was causing us a little consternation earlier. But we curved it, and then as the radius got bigger, it just sat down on there real nice. That's where your access door uh, is. Actually, that's on the other side. I don't think there's one on this side. See, so you, you can see there, access door. But that's where that would be anyway. I guess they just built it that way. Now, I didn't finish this right here because that's where the wheel well is going to go. And I haven't made that wheel well. I got to make that out of some plywood. And uh, I'm going to get after that here shortly. But I just kind of wanted to show you this and uh, show you one other thing that uh, I'm going to do just to strengthen this up. So I'll, let me show you that. I've got some uh, one inch nails in here, brad nails. And uh, I'm gonna end up clamping this a little bit anyway, but there's nothing wrong. This is inch and a quarter, so why not put some inch brad nails, like right here, right there. And that's just tightening it up. And it's not gonna cause any problems whatsoever. Just to run these in here, like that. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take these inch and a quarter out, and I'm gonna sneak over here, and I'm gonna get these inch and three quarters, put those in, and I'm gonna just kinda of tighten up right on here. Because these first two, or last two nails, it didn't make it all the way through. Really doesn't need to, not really, but I've got the extra brad nails. Let's just run a couple in. All right. All the way in, because I can see they kind of peeked out here on the other side. That just makes me feel better because I've got every single one of these are nailed in separately and then we nail them all in to the frame. So I'm going to continue around the whole uh, frame and I'm going to get that done and I think that's going to make this really, really strong. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight and maybe I'll lift it up tomorrow and uh, show you what it looks like because I think it's going to look really cool. Right there, I still have not got to the wheel well. It's going to fit in there. It's more or less framed out. But I wanted to show you what this looks like next morning. So here we are. Makes it look at that curve. I mean that those angles on the uh, frame just makes it follow that curve real, real nice. All the way back down. Hey, look at that rear end. I mean, look at that. That thing just hit real nice, didn't it? I love it. That was the part I was the most worried about. And look at it. it follows all the way through here comes all the way down to the uh wheel well anyway let me get a a little better angle for you so i wanted you to kind of see everything looks real nice looks real nice I, I just wanted you to see that before we ended this uh video this episode and here's why you're not going to get another episode for a day or two because um uh, that's why it's 22 degrees in the shop world headquarters is under a freeze warning hope you enjoyed the episode like and subscribe